This video is sponsored by PDF Element Pro, which is an all-in-one tool for Windows and Mac that easily lets you create, annotate, and edit PDF files in one easy-to-use UI. My favorite feature is the ability to combine PDFs, which really helps me when studying lots of lecture material. So as you guys know, I don't do many sponsored videos on this channel, and when I do, it is only a product that I recommend myself. And as a university student, this has helped me countless times, and I only wish I discovered it sooner. So you guys can go ahead and check out PDF Element Pro down below in the description. Special thanks to them for sponsoring this video. What's up guys, my name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. So today, Apple just released the first public beta of iOS 13. So to install this on your phone, all you have to do is go to beta.apple.com, sign up and install the profile on your phone, and then you can go ahead and download iOS 13 and install it. So this is so much easier than the way we had it before. Before you had to have a developer account, get the developer profile, or find it from some sketchy web website online and trust that it was an okay link and get it installed on your phone. Now it is so much easier, much safer. Just sign up at beta.apple.com and you can get this installed on your phone within a few hours. I say a few hours because it just came out and if you go to the website right now, you may notice that it is super slow. So when you go to request the iOS 13 download, it may take about two or three hours to download it onto your phone just because right now the servers are being bombarded by people constantly requesting iOS 13 downloads. So it may take a very long time, but it is good that the public beta is finally out. We were expecting it in July, so it is nice that it is here super early in June. I don't think we've ever seen it before this early. So I just want to show you in this video some of the main features of iOS 13. So say you just installed the public beta on your phone and you wanna experience some of the new features. Well, you can watch this video and I'll go through some of the main features of iOS 13. So the first one is dark mode. You probably already know how to turn it on, but I'll show you again. Go into control center, press and hold on brightness, and there is a new button here on the bottom left. Click that, and then you are in dark mode. So if you have the iOS 13 wallpaper set, you'll see that your wallpaper does change to a more dark appearance, your dock changes to a darker background, and your folders also change to a more dark appearance. So this doesn't just affect applications, it also affects the way your home screen looks and feels. So if you go ahead and open up some applications like music here, you can see everything looks super nice with a dark background. I especially like music because of all the album art that I can see with the dark background. Every application just looks absolutely gorgeous in dark mode. I love Safari, I love browsing the web in dark mode, it looks fantastic. You can also set a schedule for dark mode. So if you jump into settings, and go to display and brightness. You can also change your appearance from light to dark within settings. So you don't just have to do it within control center. You can also change it here, but you have an option to change it based on sunset and sunrise or based on a schedule that you set. So if you turn on a schedule option here for dark mode, you can see you have a few options. You have sunset to sunrise, or you can set a custom schedule if you want to turn off and on at a certain time as I have done here. And as you can see with iOS 13, you do get four new wallpapers, a red one, a blue one, a green one, and a monochromatic black one. These look super nice. Another new feature in iOS 13 is the new keyboard. So the keyboard has a few enhancements. There is a new feature called a quick path where you can simply drag your finger between keys to type. So if I want to say hello, all I have to do is drag my thumb uh, between the letters and it inputs the word right there. So texting just became a whole lot faster in iOS 13 with the quick path keyboard. There also is a completely refreshed Maps application. Now, personally, I don't use Apple Maps, I use Google Maps, but apparently in iOS 13, in Apple Maps, there is a whole bunch more detail now in the map when you zoom in to look at places. It definitely shows when I'm looking here at San Jose, you can actually see the different texture on the ground there. And I don't think this was there with iOS 12. Now, of course, I'm in Canada, as many of you know, so I can't actually take advantage of this new map. It is only available right now in select cities at the events when Apple unveiled iOS 13, they did say that they are sending a whole bunch of mapping vehicles throughout every country that they can, and hopefully the updated map look can be included in iOS 13.2 or iOS 13.3 down the road once Apple gets all these different cities mapped out. So don't be upset if you don't see your city um, updated for the new look in iOS 13 just yet. Um, only the main cities in the States have been supported, but more support for other cities are definitely coming in iOS 13. There also is a brand new Reminders app with a new icon. So you can see that there on the home screen looks a bit more colorful. If you go ahead and open it up here, you can see it has a whole new UI. Um, it's glitching out a bit at the top here. This is a beta, so you can expect that. Um, four new tabs today, scheduled, all, and flagged. And then you have your lists down here. 
we go here, we can create a new reminder. There is a new option. I believe this is called the smart toolbar at the top here. So if I create a reminder called um, get pizza, we can choose any option here. So if I wanna be reminded at a time, I can click this and choose today, tomorrow, this weekend. If I want to choose at a location, I can choose this or getting in the car or custom. And you can choose the importance of it by clicking a flag. And then if you click this photo option, you can add photos or take a photo directly from the reminders application. So reminders is much more powerful now. And there is some contextual support too when you are making a reminder. So if I wanna say at 6 p.m., all I have to do is type at 6 p.m and the phone will recognize the time, if I can type it right. You can see there it turns blue, and then it'll automatically remind me at 6 p.m. to get pizza, even without me suggesting a time. You can see there it says suggested date. If I click on that, it'll change it to today at 7 p.m., so my phone will now remind me at 6 p.m. to get pizza. It makes the Reminders app so much better and a lot faster. I really love these changes. And there are so many little tweaks and changes throughout the UI here and there. For example, there is a new volume indicator now. So if I go ahead and click the volume up and down button, you can see there it kind of slides out from the notch. And then when it goes away, it goes back up. And there is a new animation when you are uh, toggling between regular mode and silent mode. There is also a new animation. You can see there at the top, it kind of just appears. So I really like this. It looks super nice. And you will notice little changes like this throughout iOS 13, throughout the entire operating system. So I really like all the little changes that Apple has made. So guys, those were just some of the main features of iOS 13 that you can now experience if you got the public beta installed on your phone. Uh, tell me in the comments below how your experience is with the public beta so far. Um, for me, I would honestly recommend to pretty much everybody, if you want to experience iOS 13, to install the public beta because there aren't honestly that many bugs and you are going to be getting the newest features on your iPhone with the beta. And it honestly doesn't even feel like a public beta. So you have my official recommendation. You can install the public beta of iOS 13 it is definitely stable enough so guys thank you so much for watching my name is michael and i'll see you in the next video